Hi, I'm Jeff Hirsch. I'm here with Mark Guffner. He's uh, founder and partner of TheOptionsEdge.com, also a CFA. And um, you're going to be talking later today about how to structure options trades for maximizing profits. Can you give people a little bit of what you're going to be talking about there? Well, certainly. <clears throat> um, in trading options, you have to remember that you need to get both your timing and your direction right. Uh, for a typical option trader who is maybe buying a call spread or buying a call looking for a bullish move. Right. What I like to impress upon people is that is you need to match up your conviction on your idea and the, and the size of move that you're looking for in the stock or an ETF with your strategy. So let's say you're looking at Apple, for example, sure. and you're bullish on Apple, but, you're like, but you don't think Apple's going to scream and go to the moon, but you just think it's going to inch higher. Right. Well, you're probably better off selling a put spread and just letting time decay work for you. You could write that out of the money. So maybe your, your probability of, being, of making a profit is 65% in a trade like that. Whereas if you bought a call spread, maybe your, your probability of profit uh, might be 35%. So you increase your odds. Now your payoff is not quite as big, but you increase your odds of being right. And, and what you really want to do is be right most of the time. And that's without owning the underlying. That's right. Not a covered call right. Not a covered call right. So we, generally, uh, what a lot of the folks that subscribe to my service are looking for directional moves. So they say that they, or they're looking for Amazon to move higher. Um, Amazon's a very interesting animal all by itself because mm -hmm. it trades far more volatile than is priced in the options. So it's one of the few stocks that you want to buy a call spread on if you're, if you're, you're bullish on, because you're going to get probably get a bigger move than what's implied in the price of those options. Now what about something where you have a higher conviction of a bigger move, either upside or downside? What, what type of a, a structure would you put there if you have there, There's two. You can go with the call spread, but one of my favorite is called the short put spread risk reversal. Long name, complicated. Short but, put spread risk, risk reversal. reversal. What and what that, that, what that is, is you sell, a put, you sell a put spread, so you collect some premium. Right. And you might sell that a little at or a little bit out of the money. Okay. And then you buy a call a little bit out of the money as well. So, um, and you use the proceeds to buy that call. So now your upfront cost is, you know, maybe it's it's zero. Sometimes you can structure it. You can get a little credit when you do that. Sure. But your downside is that if the trade really goes against you, you can lose a little bit more than if you bought a, a, a call outright. So that structure is a synthetic call, if you will. And it's a little more protection, and it, a little but more it gives, juice on the upside. It gives you a lot more juice on the upside than just buying a call spread. A little bit less protection on the downside. Though. That's right. Than buying an outright A little outright more call. risk for more reward. That's right. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mark. You're Thank well, you guys quite for welcome. joining us.